Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Taylor Thought Tuesdays, and it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to all you lovers out there. Hope that you are having a beautiful day. If you have the opportunity to be with the one you love, that's dope. And if you can't be with the one you love, please love the one that you're with. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about you, yourself. Enjoy yourself today. If you are single, like I am, spoil yourself. Treat yourself. Enjoy yourself. How are you going to ever love somebody else if you're unwilling to love who you are? All those idiosyncrasies and uh, all those quirks that make you who you are. How are you going to be able to be with somebody else if you're not appreciative of that? Like I had a friend the other day when I was talking to him about my business. I said, you know, one of my jobs and one of my goals is to help men feel more attractive so that they can attract the woman that they are interested in or the type of woman that they would you know like to spend long term a long term relationship with and he said well how's your business going to sustain itself because after you after you get them to that space they're not going to need you anymore and their girlfriend you know those those lady friends will take over and i said well not if i've properly trained them if I've given them all the tools that help them sustain the information of the image of who they are, they're not going to allow somebody else to come in and derail that or to alter that and and who they are in the development of who they are. That person is going to be the energy, the fuel that helps propel them to maximizing who they are. And I think that part of the reason why people allow somebody else to dictate their life for them is because they don't love themselves. If I love myself, I'm always open to criticism, to something that's going to help build me and, and make me better. But if I am constantly supplicating who I am to somebody around me and allowing them to be the determining factor on what looks good, what feels good, how I move, how I'm going to develop and cultivate myself, then I'm not really loving me. I'm loving whatever their projection of me is. Listen, I'm a passionate individual. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I am a sensual individual. I'm a hopeful romantic, not a hopeless romantic. I'm a person who values friendships, so I don't necessarily call everybody my friend. I move in a very different dynamic, and I'm a very creative person, and I own it. I know that that has positive qualities and some detrimental qualities if I'm not careful. And I always tell people this, it is going to be your purpose that is, if you are paying attention to it and you are just uh, trying to exploit every element of what your purpose is, that's going to be your benefit and your detriment. It's going to be the thing that you are amazing at. And if you, you uh, cultivate or you begin to develop in the wrong space, it could end up being your detriment. You see, I talk a lot. I'm a talking motherfucker. I'm a long-winded motherfucker. And the good thing about that is, is most people tend to listen because I got something to say. I'm not just blowing hot smoke up people's asses. And so because of that, I have to learn how to scale that ability because after a certain period, people begin to tire of what I'm saying. Not saying that they are dismissing it, but it's just a lot of energy that I'm giving. And that's a lot of energy that I'm expelling to my audience. When I'm putting on clothing, the energy that I'm putting on with the colors that I put together can be a lot of energy that people have to then take on and try to decode. And that can be overwhelming for an individual. If I'm talking to a young lady, I'm type of motherfucker, three days in, you know, four days in, she might inspire some poetry and I'm a writer some poetry. That can be overwhelming. So because of that, my benefit it's all these things that make me who I am, I love about myself. But part of love is you having some elements of truth, of authenticity, of come to those come to Jesus moments where you actually acknowledge that these things, if they are not properly taken care of and grown, they can wilter or they can begin to uh, they can begin to get funky, right? They can begin to uh, mold. And so it's important that we practice those things. It's important that we engage those things. But most importantly, it's, it's important to acknowledge that we are unique. My style is unique and my life is unique. The way that I express myself is unique. And I love that about myself beyond anything. And if somebody else can't get with that, then they probably don't need to be with me. So I want you to try that on. I want you to see how that fits you. And I have a question for you. What are three things that you love about yourself and your style? So I want you to talk about 
one of the things that you love about your personal sartorial style or your street style. I want you to talk about one thing that you love about your um, about your social style, right? The way that you interact with other people. And lastly, one thing that you love about your intimate style. Now, the intimate style, you ain't got to share with everybody. I, mean, I know you probably don't want everybody up in your business. But just in some of the things that I've talked about, what are those things that you enjoy about you? And the reason why I want you to think about this is because those are the things that you should enjoy and review for yourself today if you're by yourself and if you're single and even if you're with your lover if you have the the opportunity to be with a lady then have that conversation with her because a lot of ladies don't know what they love about themselves and they expect you to pull that thing out of them so challenge them not maybe not today maybe and just enjoy it today but tomorrow have that conversation with your lover and figure out what she loves about herself in turn it will hopefully help you love her that much more. So again, leave some uh, comments in the comment box with those questions answered. Again, what do you? What are the three things that you love about your style? Uh, please share this with your friends if you found, found this beneficial. I, I'll be dropping some heat every now and then. I got a little bit of knowledge. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Please make sure that you subscribe so you can get this information on a daily. I'm here every day for you because I love you. I want to make sure you get this information and. Um, like, like I always say, yo, this is an opportunity for you to be great. I'm striving to be great. I'm going to be great. I am great, right? You're great too. You don't have to be or try to do any of those things. You already are. You already exist in that space. And lastly, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you should always dress to express. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.